Let's talk Chicago Bears. Uh, being here in Chicago and doing some Bears work, everybody, this is the question in Chicago. Is Justin Fields the man? Is he our quarterback to take us to the promised land? And every week, it's this big evaluation. He did this, he did that. Guess what? Forget about that. I don't think you're going to be able to get a good evaluation this year. And I was the guy that said, week eight, we will know if Justin is the guy or not. That was my opinion going into the first week of the season. But the way this offensive line and the way these receivers are playing, he's got no chance. It's not It's not fair. It's really not fair at this point. I mean, the guy has thrown the least amount of passes, and he's been hit the most amount of times. He's getting hit almost 50% of the time he drops back to throw a pass, 48 or 47% of the time. I mean, that's that's insane. And they're doing a lot of screens, and they're trying to do movement passes with them. And they're running the ball successfully. But until they get some talent at receivers, you know, last week it's first and goal on the five, and they have two drops down at the goal line. You got no chance on that. And their offensive line, I tell you what, their offensive line, they're playing, they played two rookies, two second year players. So it's it's inexperience in addition to a little bit of lack of talent. My whole point is, and maybe there's a plan, Ryan Poles, the GM's got a plan. But it's not going to change overnight. And I don't think my point is we will not get a real good evaluation, in my opinion, of Justin Fields this year because of his supporting cast. There is a blueprint to get all this solved. Just look at the Philadelphia Eagles. Two years ago, it, it was consensus that, that Jalen Hurts would not be their quarterback in the future or even finish the season as a starter. And what do they do? They go out and get Devontae Smith, right? Draft back. They get A.J. Brown in free agency. Their offensive line might be as good as there is. They, they got veteran guys. They got Pro Bowl players. And as a result now, they really haven't changed their offensive philosophy. They're still running the ball, play pass. And when they have to throw it, they throw it. And it's a winning formula. The Dolphins kind of did the same thing. And they were winning 2-0 and or 3-0 and with Tua. Because they went out and and and, and they got Tyreek Hill, uh, they 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 added uh, uh, Waddle, Jalen Waddle. They added two starting offensive tackles, and when Tua was in there and they had their guys, it was all clicking. Since he's gotten hurt, they've fallen off, but it's the same blueprint. So Bear fans, take heart. There is a blueprint. Now we got to go out and get the players to fall in line and and. We'll find out about Justin Fields. I'm not saying he's the guy yet, but we'll get a real good indication once he gets a better supporting cast.